So I wanted to show you today how to put a frame around like an image or some text and not have it disappear when you weld it. Hmm, bit magic there, isn't it? So first of all, let's create a frame. So to create a frame really easily, we are going to create a circle. And then I'm just going to duplicate that circle. I'm going to make this one, make it 17. And then if I put them in there, And I can line them up. Okay, so although that looks like a frame, and although that's going to cut like a frame, it's actually just two circles. They, they haven't been joined together, so they haven't been made into a compound path where they work with each other. So technically, if I was to fill this circle, Actually, no, I'll fill the bottom, the back circle. So I'll fill that with blue. So you can see that you can still see the blue in the centre here. So it's not really a frame, but if I sort of select those two, and I go up here and I go object, make compound path, now you can see it's actually cut the center out. So now that is a frame. It's not just two circles. It's actually a frame. And if I go into the send panel, you, you can see that really nothing's changed. It, it would cut exactly the same. All right, so we've made a frame and maybe we'll just do some simple text. Maybe we'll just do A, and we'll come over here to our font selector and we'll choose our fancy font. Okay, so let's just say that we want to put this A in the frame, but we want it to sort of cut in one piece. So you can see I've got bits overlapping here into the frame. So right now, all I have is an A inside a frame. And if I go to the send panel, you'll see that it's going to cut out these bits here. And that's not what I want. I want it to cut it all in one piece. So let's go back here. Let's select them both. And let's go weld. Now you can see that we have welded that A to our frame. You see? So when it cuts, it's going to cut in one piece. So I just want to show you again but this time I'm going to do it wrong so that you can see just what I mean. So let's create a circle, let's copy and paste it. This time I'll just use my dragging motion to do it, select it, center it, 
All right, so I'm going to color it. We'll make this one red, okay? No, we won't because that doesn't work because you can't see the circles, can you? Okay, we'll make it yellow. All right, so now you can see it's literally just two circles. Two circles are sitting there, one inside the other. I've only colored the back one. The front one's not colored, but you can see the back one um, through it. Okay, so let's make our A again. the same font so come over to the font selector okay we do exactly the same thing All right so we, we pretty much uh, the only thing that we haven't done is we haven't made these a compound path and this is where the mistake generally happens okay so at the moment that's two circles with an A on top of it and if I select it all and I go weld, oh, everything's disappeared. The only thing that's remained is that back circle. And that is because I did not make the frame a compound path. So it's, see, three bits. So in order to make this, what you need to do is get your circles, line them up, select them both, then come up here and say make compound path. And now those two circles interact with each other to make a frame. Now if we do the same thing, ready, there we go. So you can do that with images. It doesn't have to be like um, it doesn't have to be an initial, um, but that's that's how you do it. If you want to put something inside a frame, you have to think about that frame first before you think about what you're putting in there. So make sure that you make it a compound path before you try to weld it. Otherwise, it's, everything is just going to disappear. All right, so that's how we do that. So if you liked our video, don't forget to give us a thumbs up. And if you'd like to be notified whenever we release more videos, just hit the subscribe button and they'll let you know when we've got new ones up. Until next time, have fun silhouetting.